All right, um, pretty good. I got to see a lot of mistakes um, that are very important that I want to make sure I highlight. First of all, again, when evaluating the sign, you can use the sum or the difference. In this case, we can see that the tangent, I can break this up into 60 degrees plus 45 degrees. Since I can break up the tangent of 45 degrees into the sum of two angles, I'm going to want to use the tangent formula. And again, so therefore, I'm going to use tangent of u plus v. I know it might be kind of confusing when I do the plus or minus, but it's either plus of two angles or it's minus two angles. So the formula for this is going to be tangent of u plus tangent of v all over 1 minus tangent of u times tangent of v. So therefore, we just need to label our angles as u and v, right? Now that I've identified them as u and v, I basically just plug them into my formula. So to save a little space, I'm just going to plug them in. So it was u, which is 60 degrees, v, which is 45 degrees, um, u, 60 degrees, and v, 45 degrees. Now, majority of students got to this point. Um, but then we had a little bit of trouble with evaluating. And as I mentioned to you guys, the reason why we took our quiz again today, because when we're not texting on our phones and we're making sure that we're writing this stuff down, we understand that we need to evaluate functions very, very quickly. Evaluating tangent of 60 is one small little step, right? So, I mean, it's a small step in this problem. So you need to know how to evaluate. Tangent of 60, 60 degrees is the coordinate point, uh, square, or 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. You should know that when you simplify that, right, that's going to give you the square root of 3. If you want to look at your unit circle to verify, please do so. But I don't have time anymore, or at least in this class, or for during, during class instruction, to show you why that is the case. But a lot of you, as I noticed, got to this point. All right? A lot of you got to this point. You were able to evaluate for the tangent of 60, you got square root of 3, and tangent of 45 is 1. Yes, question. Oh, now I got it. You did a reciprocal and then square root of 3 over 2 times 2 square root of 2. Oh. Can you show us the tangent of 1 half divided by 3 over 2? 1 half square root of 3 divided by 2. You do tangent of y over x. You do. You mean like what I did in class last class period? Mm -hmm. That's what I did last class period. Tangent of 30 degrees. I can go over that. All right. So anyways, we know that square root of 3, um, this is just going to equal, instead of square root of 3 times 1, we know that that's just going to give you the square root of 3. So then we need to simplify this, because our simplified form is not going to include a radical in the denominator. So therefore, we're going to multiply by the conjugate. OK? So now, when we're multiplying by the conjugate, we're going to apply FOIL. But what's nice about this is what I notice is here, I have the exact same binomials. They're kind of switched around. But since I, I'm going to just multiply them as I know how to multiply them, but do you guys agree with me these are exactly the same? right? I could put parentheses around this to make me feel better if I wanted to. They're exactly the same. They're just kind of switched around. So a binomial times a binomial produces a binomial squared, which produces a perfect squared trinomial, which hopefully you guys are familiar with. x plus 1 squared is x squared plus 2x plus 4. Right? I don't have to go through the box method and all this crazy stuff. Here, you, do you guys agree with me? These are exactly the same, but they are different signs, negative and positive. Mm -hmm. So this produces a difference of two squares, meaning the middle terms, what Anastasia was asking before, the middle terms add 0, and we only have to multiply the first and the last terms. So therefore, by applying this, I have 1 uh, squared plus the square root of 3 plus the square root of 3 plus square root of 9. I'll just multiply this one out for everybody. 1 squared minus the square root of 9. Because the middle terms are going to cancel out. Or do you guys need me to show that? Is that OK? Is that all right? Yeah. Actually, why am I doing that? Uh, well, that's OK. So therefore, square root of 9 is going to be 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. So I have 4 plus 2, square root of 3. Square root of 9 is 3. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Then, if you guys remember, distributive property, distributive property says whenever you have a number outside a binomial, do you distribute? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the same thing for division. So if I have this negative 2 divided into both of these, I divide the negative 2 into both of them. 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. 
2 divided by 2 is negative 1. There is my final answer. Square root of 9 is 3. Okay. 1 squared is 1. one. Okay. 3 plus 1 is 4. Gotcha. Okay? That? Yes. Yes. Anybody have any other questions on this or the work? Because go through us. Huh?